Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but this is a fairly big one because what I thought we'd do is take this stone lantern that I created a number of years ago with okay geometry, but not ideal in certain areas. And I thought we could look at each part and see how it could be improved. So we're going to re rework the topology of this. So if you're on the Patreon and you're a, um, a full member, you can just grab this file and work along with me. Otherwise, just enjoy watching. So what I'm going to do is start at the bottom, okay? So I'm just going to isolate that. So this is the petals base low. So I modeled this probably about, I don't know, gee, eight, seven or eight years ago now. And I thought it'd be a good one to take a look at. And this is generally pretty good topology around here. I'm not seeing you know much of an issue with any of that, but it definitely gets... A little funky up here there's way too many loops cutting through there and i have to say none of this makes a huge amount of difference uh, once it's under subdivision so if we go subdivision surface see it looks pretty nice right what i'm just doing this is treating this as an opportunity to think about the geometry and how uh given the experience i have now based um as opposed to what i had then is how I might have approached it if I was doing it now. So some of it might may not make a lot of difference in the final outcome, but I still think it's a good uh, opportunity for Topo Talk. And that's why I'm doing this as a Topo Talk and not a how to model. So let's just turn that off. I think the best thing to do with this is just to break it right down to one pedal and put it into an array and save a lot of time that way. So what I'm going to do in face mode is come in and just select that loop and select that loop and delete like that select this and I'm going to hit my space bar and to search for linked I've already got it in there select linked so I'm going to grab that and delete faces right so now I've got one all right so what we'll do now is we'll create a new empty shift a and empty plane axes and select this again, add an array and we'll turn off relative, turn on object. We'll select our empty and I think we need a count of six or so it could be nine. Um, what we'll do is grab the empty and rotate that round, right? I think it has to come around 40 degrees. So. We'll go 40 like that and we will go back to here and increase this seven eight nine boom so now we only have to deal with one okay so let's just turn that off and take a look right so these are all sharpening loops that have come up through here Probably the first thing I do here is put a loop in there and I will press uh, E, F and just put that there like that, right? And bring this one and I'm going to actually dissolve it, put another loop in there and what I'm going to do is just merge these. So you could go one, two, and then M, M, L to merge to last like that. M, L. I'm going to use the polyquilt tool. Okay. You'll find a link in the description. It's a free tool. And I'm going to just dissolve that and that. I could easily just select these. And actually, I will in this case because it's, see how it's not dissolving the... And just dissolve those verts like that. See, how much cleaner is that? Very nice. So let's come over to here. What have we got here? We've got the ability to probably do this like that. And I'm just going to save a bit of time this time and just select that and that and dissolve like that. Okay, that's good. What about over here? So here we've got, if we just turn our array back on, there's a fair bit of, fair bit of stuff going on there. 
I'm not sure why I put that loop through there. I might just dissolve that. And let's see here. Could we take that one out? Just going to try a couple of things here. Get rid of this. I'm going to bring this around. Might just come over to normal and across. Just evening this out a little bit. Okay, so we've got that there. That one goes down there. That gives us a quad there. That can go. Right. Clean it up a little bit. Slide that across. And if I can take is this and all of these. Doesn't matter if we work the re the geometry a little bit. Uh, and edit and space. Now I actually modeled this in Cinema 4D. So I'm just re realizing that, just remembering that. So I didn't have some of these tools when I was modeling this. It's a little more even there. So if that goes to there like this, ML, and that goes, that have to be dissolved afterwards. Bring that up. So we've got the other side to deal with as well. Let's just grab these. I'm just going to do a quick save. I'm going to save this as 01 because I want to give you the original. I'm looking forward to texturing this again too. I'm a bit better at texturing than I was when I first did this. That's good. Grab this. And dissolve those. That's nice. Space those out. We want these to be in line. I'll bring the other one down to that one. So I might just bring this one down. And I wonder if I can actually thin this out too, like I did the other one. So let's see. Grab that. And that's good. Right. That can go to there. Do we need that one there? Take that one out. Got that one there. We can take that one out. Turn on uh, vertex snapping. 
snap that one if I can get it. Snap it in line with that. That snap. Uh, I won't snap. I like to make them look as even as possible. It's a bit cleaner in there now. So we do need one more across here, so bring that up and that'll stop that from being spread out as well. So just grab those, space those out, and we'll put a loop in here. Right. Next one to get it, get rid of there. Nice. We can actually just space these out. How will that look? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. All of those. That's better. Can you get nice and even? Okay. We need that one, I think. Maybe. Maybe not actually. That may be able to go. Okay. We've got this extra loop here. That's pretty nice actually now. So how's that? Just a quick save and add a subdivision surface. I mean, it looks pretty nice, nice and clean. Might just turn off this as well. Have another good look. If I wanted to have an even uh, bevel there, I'd have to hit that there and E there like that. It's pretty good. Okay. 
Yeah, there's a few lumps and bumps in there. I'm going to take those out. Yeah, that just straightens those up. And then just put I just put one in there, I think. That looks a bit better. Turn that back on. It would be good to get these to snap together. I just I wonder if you can do it under an array. I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, it's not not a huge issue, but it you know it just means going to save some time. Let's try it. It's not snapping to that. I was hoping I could snap it to that vert there. Is nearest a vertex? Uh, I don't think I've got anything wrong there. I'll get as close as I can. And I know what I'm going to do. So just do that. Get it right on top. Like that. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll apply the array. Select it all. And let's just have a look down here and see how many we can merge. So we'll merge by distance, 189. So obviously, obviously some things weren't connected. But that seems okay, doesn't it? It looks okay. Bring it up to two. Turn that on. Now not having that um not having that loop through there has rounded that out a little bit, but I don't mind that. I kinda like that. If you wanted to have that sharp, then you'd have to put a loop, you know, you'd have to put another loop through there, or you could, you know, you could do it that way. Like that, you know, and then just sort of dissolve that. So you could have it, it's a little bit bumpy. Don't know if I love that. Now you put that, I had that extra loop on either side, and that was sharpening that up. Put that there, and put that in there. And you know, you could, if you could easily hide that up here just by. Uh, you know, selecting this, ML, selecting that, ML. If you didn't, if you were worried about having these extra loops up here, get rid of that, get rid of that, and just hide that in there, you know, just have it sort of fade off into there, right? That's quite nice too. So you might prefer that, you might want to go ahead and do that as well, or, or have it rounded. It's quite nice rounded. All right, so in the next software talk, what we'll do is we'll move up, and we may even... I don't know. This part, I has as, I have it as a separate pillar, but maybe it could be connected. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it would be connected. To this. I think there'd be two pieces of stone. This one would sit on top of this. And that's how I designed it. But um, we'll work our way up, and um, we'll solve other issues as we work our way up. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next topper talk.